This may or may not work. Alright? All right. Yeah. Uh, it's only gonna happen in your head. Okay. okay. Yeah. Isn't mentalism like the coolest thing in the world? Like really think about this. How amazing is it to make someone believe that like you're inside their head or that you can read their minds? It's kind of like a superpower. Let's uh, let's talk more about mentalism, but I gotta go get some coffee. Uh, also this. Just got some new puzzles in the mail. Obi, Obi, come help me open this box. Obi. Ah, look who I found. Wanna help me open this box? You love this little raccoon, don't you? Ooh, oh, this one looks really cool. So we'll call this puzzle number one, puzzle number two, and puzzle number three. Let me know which puzzle you think I should do next on the channel. One, two, or number three. Here's also something cool. These are uh, brand new uh, Under Armour sneakers that are like pre-launch. They are called Phantoms. Check these out. So here's the thing. This is not a paid endorsement. Uh, well, it is and it isn't. So they didn't pay me to talk about this on YouTube, but I thought it would just be interesting to share with you guys that uh, I can take Instagram pictures. I'm getting paid to take Instagram pictures of these sneakers. I just thought that was cool and I wanted to share that with you guys. Because if you would have told me a couple years ago, Hey man, we're gonna pay you to uh, take pictures of awesome sneakers. I would have been like, yeah, let's go. Go. <laughs> so mentalism has to be, like I said, probably one of the coolest things you can do. And so many times I hear from people who are non-magicians, do you do mentalism? I know this one guy, he's a mentalist. He's not a magician. It's kind of funny to me as a magician because we know that mentalism and magic come from the same school. We kind of use the same techniques, but that tells you a lot about why people find mentalism so fascinating because they actually think it's like some gray area, like it could be real. I want you, um, I want you to imagine you're sitting on a bench. Okay. All right, you're looking out and you see a rainbow, okay? And there's like a, no, it's okay. You see like a scenery. And now I want you to imagine you're on the rainbow, okay? And you're looking down and there's there's a bunch of colors. There's seven colors. There's a uh, red, green, orange, blue, pink, purple, yellow, okay? But in a second, you're gonna choose one color. Don't choose one now. Um, and whatever color you choose, you're gonna sort of paint a scenery. So for instance, if you, if you were to take green, uh, you might paint a scenery of a field of grass. Mm -hmm. If you were to take pink or purple, maybe you paint a scenery of flowers. Mm -hmm. So take one of those colors and I want you just to paint a scenery. Can you do that in your mind? Yes. Okay, close your eyes. And I want you to imagine that you're there. I actually like the uh, color tones of the snow here. And this church has like a red door. And I think that might be a really cool spot for me to snap a quick picture of these sneakers. The awkward part is that I only have these shoes, so I have to take off a shoe to take a picture of it. So yeah. Insert picture of the photo now. All right, so honestly not sure if I'm gonna use any of those photos, but it was worth a try. One of the questions I get asked the most in this channel is where do I learn mentalism? How do I become a mentalist? How do I go deeper into mentalism? How do I do propolis mentalism? And a lot of mentalism is just like magic. It requires a lot of practice and it requires a lot of people skills. You can't be a good magician if you're not good with people. That's something you have to work on. But if you do wanna learn some of the techniques, I will give you some examples of my favorite places to look for mentalism and especially propolis mentalism, which by far my favorite. First of all, uh, if you you guys don't know about Peter Turner. Peter Turner is an incredible mentalist and I've hung out with this dude so many times. He just blows minds with nothing in his hand, nothing in his pocket, just his words. One of my favorite things about Peter is uh, Isabella Star 3. Yeah, you're born on the 22nd of March, on March 6th or 7th. Oscar, Oscar. Oh, you went for Neil. 
Yeah. Fred. Yeah. <laughs> Keep saying it like Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn yeah. over and over. <laughs> so that's like literally a star sign divination, but so much more. Definitely check out anything Peter Turner has to do with anything. My hair is out of control. People are just looking at me super weird, speaking to my camera. That's another thing. It's like, it's just like being a magician, you have to own it. I'm a vlogger, this is what I do. I'm a magician, but I'm also a YouTuber. So when people see me out in public, talking to a camera, like it's a person, and they're looking at me like I'm an alien from a different planet, well, that's just something I have to live with. I have to own it. Um, next book, one of my favorite forms of mentalism is uh, cold reading. Let's go take a walk. So cold reading is the ability to basically tell something about someone without actually knowing anything about them. Psychics, quote unquote psychics, mediums, use these techniques a lot. He seems to sit and have a pillow at the back of her, no. or is that you? No. No? That doesn't make sense to you? No. And I think there are some of the strongest uh, things you can do without any props on you. Ian Rowland put out a book called, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw some B-roll on this right now when I get back home. <laughs> Full facts book about cold reading. I probably shouldn't even share this with you guys. This is just like too good of a secret, but I'm gonna share it anyways, because I know only only some of you are actually gonna go and pick it up. I think I spend more time at the barber shop than I do at my actual house. You know what, we're just gonna own it. We're just gonna own the bad hair today. We're just gonna own it and run with it, all right? So, um, System 88 by Doc Hilford. It used to be used by pickup artists back in like the 60s. You guys have probably seen like the article going around on BuzzFeed, I think last year, the year before, which talked about the cube in the desert test. By telling someone about a cube and a desert and a ladder and all these things, I could go deep into your subconscious and tell you about yourself without knowing actually anything about yourself. And that's something I've been using time and time again. It's just something if I have nothing on me and I have a group of people, because this you can perform to many, many people, it's not actually a magic trick and it's not actually mentalism. There is cold reading involved, but it's more of like a psychological test and that's how the premise works. It's like, hey guys, this is a psychological test. It's not a magic trick. It's not a, I'm not psychic. Use your imagination with the questions that I'm gonna ask you. You're gonna get a lot out of this. Man, oh man, oh man. I've had people cry. I've had people tell me things that their best friend didn't even know about them. They just feel like opening up and this is a crazy, crazy thing. So it's a lot of fun. It takes definitely a long time to sort of master and practice. But once you have it in here, you never forget it. And that's something I could just run with. I don't need a deck of cards. I don't need a pad and paper. I could just go perform for five people live and it's like a good 15 20 solid minutes of craziness I think if you're talking about propless mentalism you can't talk about propless mentalism without mentioning psychological subtleties by Banachek psychological subtleties one two and three where basically Banachek who's a world-renowned mentalist uh, talks about the human mind and how a lot of us think along the same lines and using that information in order to you know perform impromptu mentalism on a spectator so that is really cool if you're just getting started mentalism uh, 13 Steps to Mentalism by Corinda is like, is kind of like the Holy Bible because if you're willing to delve, you're gonna have a lot of fun. If you wanna dabble, I would say don't get into mentalism. Just imagine yourself in this place. Really imagine yourself here. Mm -hmm. Is this a place normally where there's a lot of people, but right now you're kind of alone in this place. Is that accurate? No, there's not a lot of people at all? Is it a warm place? Yes. It's a warm place. Mm -hmm. All right, keep your eyes closed. I want you uh, and I want you to plug your ears with both your hands. Plug your ears so you can't hear anything. So I'm gonna put my hands on your head and I want you just to imagine and just let me know what it is that you that you feel, that you hear. One of the problems with mentalists, I think, personally, not with mentalists actually, but with magicians, is that they can't commit to either being a magician or being a mentalist, they dabble. Darren Brown, who's one of my favorite mentalists in the world, he even said so himself. He used to be a magician, and then he would slowly go into like hypnosis and mentalism, figured out that he had to relinquish magic entirely for the mentalism to, for it to have reverence for it to be considered fringe reality, to, for it to really spook people out or creep people out, he had to drop the card tricks, which makes complete sense if you think about it. Like, if I'm gonna have you pick a card, find your card, then read your mind, and then after that, do another card trick. Like, I mean, you're, as a spectator, your mind's like, well, it's just a trick, obviously. He's not a real mentalist. You get what I'm saying? But if you wanna dabble, it's a lot of fun to do. I personally don't take myself too seriously as a mentalist because I am a magician. And so when I perform and I do mind reading feats, 
if they ask me anything, I say, of course it's a trick. You know, this is, uh, I'm a magician, these are all tricks, but you know, nonetheless, we're having a good time, aren't we? So I've given you resources, I've given you knowledge, and I've told you where to go, and I've told you what to study, and I know for a fact that in a month's time, or even a week's time, I'm still gonna get these questions on this channel because new people come all the time, but also because a lot of people just want shortcuts, and that's the reality we live in today, is that most people are lazy and will not take the time to properly learn something. They will not devote the time. For them, I've been doing something for six months and it's not working. Well, six months isn't a long time. Nothing comes easy, especially if you're trying to fool intelligent people. If you're trying to convince intelligent people you have mind powers and stuff like that, yeah, that's not gonna come easy and definitely not gonna be easy if you're 13 years old. Let me tell you, mentalism should only be performed by adults. And that is a, and the only reason I'm saying that is because there's no way that an adult will take you seriously and that's just fact and you guys have probably lived through that you guys probably lived through that frustrating reality of being a kid but wanting to like read minds and stuff and they're just kind of looking at you like oh that's cute this kid's cute he does uh, he does magic so my advice to you would be learn the techniques learn everything you need to know about mentalism practice it on your friends practice it on on your parents and that type of thing but you're gonna try to tell people deep dark secrets about themselves when basically you know nothing about your own self it's not a pill that most people will likely swallow and I don't mean that in a bad way I mean that in a, in a very honest way and I'm being honest with you because I think you deserve someone to be honest with you and I wish someone would have been honest with me these are things that I've learned as I grew up but that doesn't mean don't learn it I mean like I said the same the same things apply to uh, magic the same laws apply to magic so just play around with it I'm not gonna give you shortcuts for the people saying well how did you how did you get them to say the six of clubs how did you get them to think of this word I've given you resources do your research. There are no shortcuts, and that's the brutal, honest answer. Sucks to hear, but welcome to magic and welcome to mentalism. If you wanna learn, get cracking. Stop being lazy and just keep learning. Keep learning, and in three, four, five, six years from now, you're gonna get it. You're gonna be like, that's what he was talking about. Do you hear anything? Yo. What? What are you hearing? The sea. The sea? Yeah. What do you mean? Explain. Oh my God. Like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm at the sea border. You're at the sea border? Yeah. And is that, sorry, is that what you were thinking of? Yes. You were thinking of the sea? Yes. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That's crazy. It's crazy, right? Oh my fucking God. Oh man. It, you know, I was thinking about the sky, blue in the sky, and I was like, I'm going to switch it like real quick. And I switched to the sea, and then the you, beach. And then you started hearing the sea? Yeah. You started hearing what yeah. you hear, like the water? Yeah. Like the waves? Yeah, exactly. That's crazy. You're pretty freaked out right now. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> Shit.